and if issue two passes, if we legalize recreational marijuana, that's one of these kinds of problems. We are going to pay for this for years and years and years, and it's only going to get worse. We're going to have a health crisis, a mental health crisis on our hands. And we've talked a lot, by the way, about teenagers who are suffering from depression and what's happened to them and why more kids, and, and there's a whole variety of things, right? We, of course, have condemned tobacco use. We don't want anyone smoking tobacco. We don't want anybody vaping, but we're going to le legalize recreational marijuana. I will tell you that the science shows, and I think the doctor's going to back me up on this, that if issue two passes, there will be more teenagers in the state of Ohio committing suicide. If this is passed, if issue two is passed, recreational marijuana is going to make this more accessible to everyone, including children. Now, we may say, well, gee, it's illegal for children under 18, right? Well, that, it, it's a little like saying, well, it's illegal for children under 18 to drink, right? But if it's in your home, if people can purchase it for you, if adults can purchase it for you, children are going to have this more often. And here's another fact that we don't think about. There are people who don't do things because they're illegal. And if we make recreational marijuana legal, there are going to be people who start smoking marijuana who never would have done that. Because, hey, now I'm not going to get thrown in jail or I'm not going to get fired from my job. So what do we do about all of these? And, and I, I, I want you to know, when the governor gave his State of the State address, I was listening. I'm sure all of you were listening, too. And he talked about this crisis, especially for children and mental health issues in our high schools in particular. And he used the metaphor that Bishop Desmond Tutu used. We spend a lot of time taking people, trying to save them by pulling them out of the river. And what we need to do more of is go upriver and figure out why all those people are falling in. More people are going to fall in the river if we legalize marijuana in the state of Ohio. I don't believe anybody should receive a criminal record or have their life ruined um, by using a small amount of a substance that overwhelmingly Americans and Ohioans do use in small quantities. I think uh, the most important thing for us to look at is that allowing for the use, the, the legal use of marijuana in, as I understand the issue, and I'm not an expert on it, is that it's only adults. And the, the research has shown absolutely that there is some connection with schizophrenia, with some mental health issues, and young adults' use of marijuana. Before their frontal lobe is fully developed, before, there's all kinds of things they shouldn't be. They should not be drinking. They should not be using marijuana. They should not be using opioids. All those things can have long-term effects on them. At the same time, those harsh punishments are still on the books. So, once again, the people, today's the first day of early voting um, on this issue as well, on issue two, and my belief is the people in the state of Ohio will decide, and absolutely, uh, we may see this legislature come back and make a decision how we deal with whatever their collective decision was. But I think, however this turns out, we should take a look at the message that the people of our Ohio are sending to us. And perhaps somewhere in all of this, um, who's making money, how is this all going, somewhere in all there, there might be a path forward for us to say, maybe we need some criminal justice reform yet, still, um, especially when it comes to marijuana use. Maybe there are some other ways that we can address our out-of-control mental health issues as well as our addiction issues in this state. 
at the same time, how do we, how do we handle, how do we embrace the personal private freedoms that the people in the state of Ohio are saying we want to be considered? Um, I'm going to be voting no on the resolution and yes on the issue. Um, with some trepidation, though, I have to admit. Thank you.